Let's go through the history of my art together, starting with the beginning. Let's see what's in this beautiful Hello Kitty folder. I already began finding my abstract style when I was like six years old. And this for me back then was an iconic piece. The back side is, <laughs> the back side is just some... I like doing things like this a lot, like geometry stuff. Or this. Oh yeah, I love drawing mermaids. Beautiful. I got gems for my birthday or something once and I could not stop using them. Here's a few pictures I made with them. Here's the things we used to draw in like second grade. I don't know if this is, you can call this abstract or just something a four year old would make, but I'll just call it abstract. I'm a guess this is a dog, right? And a really good one too, so. This one just really says so much, doesn't it? And when I was around 10, I got inspired. I tried a new thing where I used, I think it's called pastel chalk or something like that, where I painted things like this. I think I saw a lot of photos like this online by like famous artists, especially from that ghost painting, I got inspired. Also tried doing landscapes. What's in here? I haven't seen these things myself in like years. I found something. This is a project I began, but I never completed it when I was like 10. I wanted to draw a gigantic mandala or whatever they're called. It was too much work though. This is so nostalgic to go through because I remember painting or drawing whatever, all of these. Oh my God, I do not remember this. Wow. This is really good. Okay. This is when my drawing phase began, when I was like, I'm going to be the next big thing. And I, till this day, I really like this one. I don't even know if I used a reference photo. I don't think I did. Oh, it looks so bad on camera. No. I swear it looks better in real life. And I don't know why the nose ring is on her nose. It doesn't really make sense. I know. Oh, oh. Also, I was like, I'm going to be the next... I'm gonna be the next fashion designer. Versace, get out of here. I'm gonna make some beautiful dresses. Oh my God, it's so ugly. Oh, and here my anime phase began. Not anime, but like manga. And then for some reason I painted my cat as if she had human eyes. I don't know what happened here. I gave all of my characters names though. This is Carla. This is me trying to become a comic artist. Wow. I must have been around 11 years old at this time inspiring next oh it's still manga oh come on oh i was trying something new here i was sketching but still wanted to be abstract damn another portrait but more advanced this time here's another comic i drew my cat is meowing at the door let's let her in Now around this time I actually also started painting on canvas. Tell you I had one and when I tell you I had an obsession for this one style, whoa. I did this all the time and this is all I did. Olivia, do you have something to say? Now, no don't play with the cable. Yeah, okay, fine. Olivia, please But of course as the creative kid I was, I didn't just do blue. I also did pink and red, oh, and green. And the point of these paintings were that you put them next to each other. Here you can see it. Now my art on canvases was in the beginning quite tamed. Like these. I think this was supposed to be a sky, I'm guessing. But eventually the organized chaos began. Now the beginning of my abstract paintings were still a bit tamed, you can tell. Like I was still trying to find actual geometric forms in it like circles, for example, or I just completely tried artistically painting humans or landscapes. But then slowly my taste started shifting towards something a little bit different. After going to a few museums for abstract art, I found this style for myself more interesting. I started not trying to find geometric forms and instead I just focused more on the colors. And that's where I'm still at right now. It's just a little bit more 
in my opinion, advanced. What I did always stick with though was the idea to have multiple canvases make one painting, like here. This one's called Hope in the Dark, and this one's called Aura. So I guess what your takeaway of this video could be is that never feel pressured to stick with one style, and that's not just in the sense of art. But I think that sentence is especially meaningful when you're talking about art, especially when you're trying to do it for fun, because you shouldn't stick to any rules or like, oh, I began with that style, so now I have to stick with it. No, you don't. That's not what art is about. It's, it's not about rules. It's about showing life in form of color or whatever you want. Because every time I began a new style, I was always like, oh yeah, this is my thing. This is what I'm going to stick with forever. This is going to be what I'm known for. But I never did. I was always wrong. Because one day I didn't feel restricted anymore. I wasn't like, I have to stay with this one style or I have to use this technique. I just did whatever I wanted. So I guess all that's left to say now is Thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you next video. And the one after that.